That was the moment the Guinean fans took to the streets in Casablanca after their team recorded a Tine victory against Ethiopia in Group D of the ongoing 2023 African Nations Cup qualifiers. Can you tell us how you feel after today's match, uh, Guinea winning uh, against uh, their opponent? Uh, how do you feel about it? They keep the good, they keep the work on good. Yeah, I appreciate the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, today, I am very, very happy. All yeah. black men yeah. from Morocco yeah. is very, very happy. Yeah. Good, good match. Not blessing. Good, 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 good match. Yeah. Good, good blocks yeah. from Guinea. Yeah. Good yeah. blocks. Guinea Conakry. Yeah. Yeah. Guinea Conakry. Yeah. All, all war. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. All for people. I am happy today. All, all, uh, I'm yes. a great all journalist. Yeah, I'm content today. I'm yes. very, 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 very content. I'm very, very. My, my all people. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we lose today, we lose. So I'm not happy. Thank you. Some African countries who could not meet up with the CAF standard for pitches have been offered to play their qualifiers in Morocco. This, uh, this approach of Moroccan Football Federation is coming from the vision of uh, our King, His Majesty Mohammed VI, may God assist him, who was uh, promoting since 2017 more South-South cooperation and uh, more implication of our kingdom in the African continent. So us at the Moroccan Football Association, we have more than six stadiums uh, which have the homologation of CAF and FIFA, both of them. So we put to our partners, we have more than 45 partnerships with African Football Association, we put at the disposal of our partners our stadium so they can play and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and play and compete in the best conditions that they can from Casablanca Morocco I'm Austin Edemodo NTA news basking from the euphoria of successfully hosting the 2022 FIFA we can win why not it's possible we just have to to trust our team but Brazil has a very good uh, team so we, we need to prepare this and Regreg is a very good uh, coach and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm supporting my country. And I think that tomorrow we're going to do something really great against uh, Brazil. Uh, they are not playing the Africa Cup qualifiers because of uh, the nature of their group, uh, but uh, they've managed quite well to get Brazil to, to come back. To, to the continent because some of the Brazilian players were already here during the, the FIFA Club World Cup. So I think uh, we are going to have an amazing game uh, tomorrow. We, we're hoping for a win, but I don't think that the win really matters that much. It's more to show the quality that we've seen uh, during the World Cup 2022 in Qatar that is really uh, the most important thing. Already there's a growing revolution in football here in Morocco as Morocco is preparing to host the 2025 African Cup of Nations and as well co-host the 2030 World Cup alongside Spain and Portugal. In Casablanca, Morocco, I'm Austin Edemodo. They finished fourth best at the Welsh. The post-World Cup friendly game between the North African country and Brazil generated much expectations, especially from the home supporters. We don't, we don't care about Brazil. Okay. We come to support Morocco because we, we love Ziyech, we love Enesiri, Abu Khalal, you know, yes. Mazrawi, Hakimi, Amrabat, the these guys, you know. But Brazil, we don't care because we are Morocco supporters. We only care about Morocco and Nigerian goalkeeper, Maduka Okoye. Though. Yeah, we talked to you before the match and now the what match I has you, ended. Yes, what did I tell you? I tell you we don't care about no Brazil, only Morocco. And I told you Morocco is going to win. What happened? Morocco won. That's why I want to greet my friend Maduka Okoye. I love you. And Morocco, top of Africa together with my friends Nigeria. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Uh, as you saw, it was fantastic, uh, fantastic mood into the stadium. And we are very happy for our people. We are very proud of the team. And we are going to continue like that. You know, see, we were in the semi-final, but it's just the beginning for us. So we are going to continue to perform.
It has been an explosive encounter between Morocco and Brazil here at Tangier Stadium and it ended in favor of Morocco 2-1 from Tangier Stadium in Morocco. I'm Austin Edemodo, NTA News.